Hey guys, this is Dr. K of Mind, Vision, and Performance. I wanted to give you a quick rundown tutorial on uh, what to do when your synaptic strobes arrive, uh, what to, what's in the, included in the case, how to download the app, how to update the firmware, the strobes, and so on. So first of all, um, <clears throat> of course, in the case from Synaptic here, you're going to find your strobes. And in this little pouch, you're going to have your charger and cord. No need to take it out. It's just a little micro USB. Uh, I charge the strobes before I ship them out, <clears throat> but just in case you needed to charge it right away, your charging port is on the bottom here. Just a little protective rubber cover there, uh, but they should come fully charged. <clears throat> of course, this is the generation two strobe, a little bit larger, a little bit different than the generation one. But as far as the functionality, the charging, the app, everything is identical. Uh, the new strobe will get darker. The opacity is the biggest, um, the biggest benefit to sensory training or sensory deprivation training is how dark the lens gets. There's other uh, used Nikes on the market, some frames from maybe Japan, other places that you can find, but the lenses just don't get as dark. And science will show uh, that if the lenses aren't getting dark, you're not getting the training uh, into your brain that you need. So <clears throat> anyway, we also have a little uh, shortcut guide. This is also inside the app, but there's a little booklet. And of course, if you ever need me, have questions, I'm always available. My cell phone number, everything's right there on the card. So as far as uh, downloading the app, <clears throat> you can take any, uh, any iPhone, any of your other phones, go into your app store or your Google Play, you're going to search for Synaptic, S-E-N, and you'll see it pop up at the top there, Synaptic Strobe. It's a small file, doesn't take up a lot of room on your phone. I already downloaded it, it only takes about a minute, and then you can open it. <clears throat> Once you're on this app screen, in this menu bar up to the top left. You'll see drills guide, mode wizard, firmware update, strobe user guide. Uh, the strobe user guide is the little guide I showed you in the bottom of the case. Um, the firmware update is what we're gonna wanna do when you first receive your strobes. I, again, I do this right before I ship them out, <clears throat> but just like an app on your phone or just like your cell phone in general, Every now and then there's software or firmware upgrades. So if your strobe starts acting funny, um, I try to remind my clients when there's a new update that comes out, you're gonna wanna update the software on them and the firmware uh, every so often. So we're gonna update the firmware. Right now it's scanning. It's not gonna find any strobes. <clears throat> and when you first look down in this app, you'll see a little eye in the bottom here. tricky with one hand here. There we go. This will give you the rundown of how to do it. Uh, of course, I'm filming this video so you can go through it this way, but here's your instructions in the future if you don't want to watch the whole video again. Uh, the basics are, right now we have the app open. We're going to turn our strobe on. And as soon as the screen goes bright blue and solid, we're going to hold the plus button. It just entered an update mode, so you'll see the strobe pop up on the screen with this big long DFU target number. As soon as I touch that number, you can see it's updating the firmware of the strobe right now. It's doing this through Bluetooth, so make sure obviously your Bluetooth connection is on on your phone. Once we get that, we're going to hear an audible beep. It's disconnecting. Firmware updated successfully. We're gonna see the strobe start blinking right away. You'll also see this little display is upside down. <clears throat> this is a little bug in the software right now. If we go back to the app and hit the back arrow, now we'll see our strobe is connected. We can select the strobe. This is the control module. You'll hear a beep. It's gonna show us it's in setting 1A. We'll see the one over there. 
if you touch the settings in the top right corner, you'll see that we can flip the display to fix that little bug. So as soon as I hit this, we see the one went the right direction. We can go back to the menu. And from here, we can control the function of the strobes. Um, right now, it's in level 1A. That's what the little blue, it's a little hard to see on the video here. But if I want to change to level 3, I'm going to hit level 3. I'm going to set the little button down here. It's going to beep. It's going to blink a few times. And now the strobes are in level 3. If I want to switch the functionality to 8, I can go back to the app. 8, hit the button, it's going to switch to 8. Now we're in a slower setting. <clears throat> if I want to go back to level 1, if I want to clear both, I can hit the all open button. I can hit the all close button. And you can actually, and we can assist with this, configure your own custom settings and, and um, uh, patterns. So that's how to use the, the app. Again, um, you want to make sure your Bluetooth is on. You have to be within Bluetooth range uh, to control it with the phone, or you can download this same app on a tablet. Uh, so about 15 feet max, um, but this is great for trainers to be able to uh, control the settings while the athlete has them on uh, and not have to run over and push the buttons at each time. <clears throat> the same app, like I said, works on the Generation 1 strobes uh, that came out last June. Um, so the, the app is the identical, the functionality is identical. Again, just the generation two's got a little bit bigger, <clears throat> a little bit more solid on the plastic. We have darker lens opacity and, um, and we actually have a polycarbonate lens inside them now to protect you from injury, from lacrosse balls, baseballs, any other sort of impact. So that's all for the tutorial. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to, uh, to call, email, uh, contact me anytime. This is Dr. K with Mind Sports.